my true collective ball yeah. Famous is so famous, number one desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in yeah, yeah, that's how, how I roll. roll I got change to throw, I don't care about no gold Better, so much better, flipping the credit ball Always on the show, so they know that I still got it What's up you guys, it's Luca, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some really fast and easy breakfast ideas. My favorite meal is actually breakfast and I swear I just am so excited to eat breakfast every morning. I thought it would take all of my breakfast that I have and show you guys as well as create some new ones. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and I know you're gonna have some extra free time to binge some videos, so make them mine. <laughs> Let's get into the video. The first thing you're gonna need is some English muffins. These are the 100 calorie multigrain ones and they taste really good. And then I'm just cutting it in half and putting it in the toaster. I would really recommend this Nutso Nut Butter. It has so many awesome ingredients. And I got this at Costco. So this is literally so easy. I feel like explaining it is just meaningless. But I'm spreading the nut butter on the English muffin and then adding some bananas. You see it all before. Whenever I use a recipe with bananas, I always put cinnamon on it. I don't know why, it just gives it that warm taste. Just be the same no more. This one goes out to all my ladies and gentlemen who prefer a lighter breakfast. So we're gonna be making a matcha smoothie. So I'm using this Vital Proteins matcha and this has collagen in it, would recommend. I'm also putting a splash of almond milk. I really don't measure anything out. I just eyeball it and then a couple handfuls of spinach. You guys would be surprised, you really can't taste it. Also some chia seeds that I decided to spill everywhere. This is definitely key to the recipe. Also I put a splash of vanilla extract which is kind of a must um this is a great shot of me getting ice i would say about four to five cubes should be good and then at least four to five scoops of greek yogurt mine is vanilla flavored it really adds to the texture and flavor then guard your dog's ears and blend her up baby and voila, you have a sustainable source of energy that will last you the whole day and it makes you feel really light and skinny in the morning. I actually made this one up. Yeah, you heard it right. So it's either gonna be terrible or great, I don't know. I really liked it, but I just started out with some English muffins. You guys can tell I really love the texture of English muffins. Plus we ran out of bread, so I kind of, I had to do some improvising. So here is me chopping up my avocado ever so gracefully. Yes, that is so satisfying. Wow, Luca, applause. I'm spreading some hummus which goes really good with avocado actually and I feel like it works I really do this is my opinion but if you want to try it for yourself just let me know and then I put the avocado on and then the best part this will fail without this part the everything but the bagel by Trader Joe's sesame blend it's very good and it adds flavor to everything <laughs> this is live footage of me trying it for the first time let's see what she thinks Oh, we got some good chewing noises. And she's surprised. All right, guys, so I actually really like this. It's very unique, and sometimes we can just get bored with our everyday breakfast options, so definitely give this a try and, like, tweet me or something. This one I've definitely been having for lunch a lot. So I have this egg thing that goes in the microwave. It's really awesome. I really am not sure where I got it. My mom got it. So you just crack the eggs in and then you're supposed to poke a hole in them and then you heat it up for 90 seconds. So I just put my bagel thins in the toaster. I used two, but whatever your appetite is calling for that day. So you're going to put some baby spinach and I cut up my beautiful avocado. Sorry about that guys. I was hoping it was gonna be a pretty one. 
Next, I put some hemp seeds on it. This is optional, but I think it just adds like the slightest bit of protein. I got my eggs from my microwave after they cooled down. They turned out really good for like microwave eggs. And I put some salt and topped it with the bagel top. And these look so pretty and they are so good. This overnight oat recipe is perfect for anyone who has to be somewhere up early in the morning and you don't want to make anything so you can prepare it the night before. So you want to start out with a half cup of oats and a half cup of almond milk. These are the proportions where I personally like it and I think it's just the right amount of each thing and it's not too mushy or any of that. And then I'm also putting about a spoonful of cup cacao powder in you can put as many spoonfuls as you would like but i think one to two makes just the right amount of chocolatey cacao powder isn't a must but i think it makes it really really good and i've tried a lot of ways of making overnight oats and i would recommend so i'm just adding the almond milk to the oats and i'm stirring it Next, I'm adding strawberries. This works very well with the cacao powder because it tastes like chocolate-covered strawberries in the morning. And I'm adding some chia seeds to this Too Good yogurt, the Greek yogurt that I like. It only has two grams of sugar and it's really good. So I'm just adding that to the top layer and then adding some blueberries on top of that. <laughs> What I love about overnight oats is you can really get creative with the fruits that you personally like. I added almonds on top, which was a really good decision. And then I added about two sprinkles of cacao nibs on top to get an extra crunch and chocolate flavor. Then you just put it in the fridge and leave it overnight. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this one is so, so yummy, and it is very filling, actually. So, what you're gonna need for this one is a whole lot of fruit. It really doesn't matter, just grab your favorite fruit, ladies. And I always give Grace my fruit, because I am a sucker for his eyes. Are you helping mommy's watch time? How about you do a little trick for an apple? Can you sit? Good boy. Grayson, lay down. Grayson. Go. No, lay down. Roll over. Grayson, roll over. Grayson, roll over. <laughs> roll over. You got it. Roll, roll over. Grayson, lay down. Roll over. You got it. There you go. Oh. All right, guys. So back to the food. I'm just chopping up some apples and bananas, and I also have some Greek yogurt that I'm just putting in the bowl. Again, I love the Too Good brand. And I'm adding some papaya chunks in there and the rest of my fruit. And then I also add cinnamon to the bananas and apples along with some cac cacao nibs for an extra crunch. Don't forget to take your emergency, kids. Times be tough out here. We are not trying to get corona. So I'm taking one of these every day, no matter what. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the foods that I showed. If you managed, well, you haven't. Let's redo this. I hope you guys have, I hope you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found any of these recipes interesting, unique, cool, not like the rest. I'm out here trying. Also, I put recipes on my Instagram story all the time. So go follow me on Instagram at It's Luke Whitaker if you want some healthy inspo on the daily. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think.